Hi, I'm Wen Fu, a final year student in University Science Malaysia. I'm going to present my final year project which is timetable scheduling application for undergraduate computer science program using genetic algorithm. And my supervisor will be Dr. Nohana Samsudi. The project background for this project is computer science scheduler team need to come out with master schedule before course registration as soon as possible so that computer science students can refer to the timetable to plan the subject they want to take especially from other school courses. The available timetable scheduling in market nowadays is mostly suitable for school and college timetable. If there is a timetable schedule application for university, the degree program structure will be different for each other university. Hence, I propose USN timetable scheduler which the website implementing a timetable generator as the back end of the system. It also acts as a platform for computer science scheduler team to design the timetable. The first problem statement is scheduler team have difficulties in managing their data and design without any platform or tools to facilitate them. Secondly, when scheduler team construct the timetable, they are always facing cost clashing with each other in terms of cost parameters such as student availability, actual availability, manual availability, and so on. Thirdly, it is time consuming for scheduler team to provide different timetable view based on different parameters such as individual lecture timetable or venue based timetable using the master schedule that created by them. The objective of this project is to provide a facility or platform for scheduler team to organize the data before constructing the timetable. To develop an automatic timetable scheduler system for School of Computer Science undergraduate courses. To visualize the timetable data into multiple views based on different parameters. This project is separated into three modules. The first module is the web application which is the system user interface that allows the scheduler team to import data into the system and organize the data before design the timetable by manually or through auto-scheduling. The second module is a timetable component module to visualize the timetable data into timetable format. The timetable component has features such as drag and drop, add, edit and delete timetable slot, change timetable into multiple view, import existing timetable data, export data into Excel format or PDF image format, and notification to alert scheduler team if the cost is clashing with each other. The third module is timetable generator. The timetable generator implementing generated algorithm. The type of generated algorithm operator used is random initialization for population, normal parent selection, uniform crossover, and random resetting mutation. The hard constraint for the timetable generator will be each course will have one timetable slot per day, each lecturer will have one teaching session at a particular time, each venue will be occupied by one lecturer session at a particular times, each student can only attend one lecturer session at a particular time, each course measure will not clash with other same course measure, and also with core course. Some time slots should not be occupied based on the time constraints set by scheduler team. And lastly, the venue assigned must have enough capacity for the lecturer session to be conducted. The soft constraint for the timetable generator will be each lecturer will not have three consecutive teaching sessions in a row. This is the architecture diagram for the system. Scheduler team will direct interact with the PC to use the system. The front end and the back end of the system will communicate through Node.js Gateway API to send requests or to get response. The back end of the system will consist of flat file database which is in CSV format and also the timetable generator. Both flat file database and timetable generator then can communicate directly without any gateway. I hope that this system can reduce the time for scheduler team to design the timetable and also the system can be benefit for other undergraduate programs which have the same degree structure as USM School of Computer Science. For future work, this system can be further improved to suit different undergraduate programs for other schools. Now, let's move on to system demo. Right now, I'm going to demo my system. So this is the landing page of my system. Let's go to About Us. In About Us, 
It keeps the introduction about the system and also emails details so the scheduler team can approach for any inquiry. In landing page, scheduler team can outlook the folder that contain all data in Excel format. The system only accepts certain format for the Excel file content. If the scheduler team import different format, the system will pop out an error message. The scheduler team can download the template Excel file by clicking download template button. If you download the template folder and in the folder it contains all the Excel files needed to be uploaded. In each Excel file, it contains the instruction of what to fill in into the column. Below here, it shows the step to import data and also include the rules to be followed to standardize the SL content. Now, we upload a folder. A success message will pop up to indicate the data is inserted into flat file database. Here is the dashboard to show the summary of the total data imported and the pie chart indicated the courses offered to each student year. Let's move to edit cost page. The data shown at here is based on the cost data that imported by the scheduler team. Scheduler team can organize the data in here before they start designing the timetable. Let's try to add a new cost. For lecturer hours operation per week is to let scheduler team to assign the total number of lecturers that this course conducted per week. Let's say if this course have 3 lecturer sessions per week and the hours operation is 3 1 hour lecturer session, we will key in as 1 comma 1 comma 1. If it is 1 hour and 2 hour session, we will key in as 1 comma 2. This is to let the timetable generator to know how to separate the hour session for each course. As we can see, the data successful added into flat file database. Scheduler team can also update the data. And also delete the data. For edit venue data and edit lecturer data, both have the same functionality as edit cost data, which is to add, update, and delete data before design the timetable. Let's move on to edit constraint data. Here it shows the time constraint that need to follow by the timetable generator. The data shown here is previously added by the scheduler team. Let's try add new time constraint. Here, we can choose either the time constraint is applicable to student, lecturer, or both. If it is not applicable, scheduler team can select the dash option. Scheduler team can also update the time constraint data. and also delete the time constraint data. Let's move on to auto scheduling patch. The timetable generator is implementing the genetic algorithm to come out with a set of timetable data. Here, scheduler team can adjust the genetic algorithm parameter. The default value is the suggested value for the parameter value but scheduler team can adjust accordingly. In case scheduler team does not know what the parameter represents, scheduler team can hover to the tool tip to read explanation and also suggested range value. Let's generate the timetable data. Here, it shows the progress bar to let scheduler team to check the progress of the timetable generator. 
It may take up to few minutes depending on the data set and the time constraint. A few moments later. After few minutes, the timetable data is generated by the system. Here is the timetable component to visualize the data in the timetable format. Before that, scheduler team can change the setting of the timetable. It allows the scheduler team to change the start time and the end time of the timetable view or to change the width of the timetable to have a better view on it. Scheduler team can drag the cost and drop it to the timetable component. Then if you pop up the form, the cost data is based on the data that scheduler team add or delete from the cost table. Scheduler team can double click on timetable slot to edit the slot data. If it clashes with other costs, a notification will pop out and related timetable slot will be in red color. It is to notify the scheduler team that the timetable slot parameter is clashing with other timetable slot parameter. The notification will follow exactly the hard constraint defined for the timetable generator. Here, they can change the timetable view accordingly. It can change the timetable view according to the venue, individual lecturer, or by student year timetable view. Receipt button will receive the timetable view. They can also export timetable data as SL format and in SL format it contains all the information for the timetable data in the timetable component. And also print the data as PDF format. In here, they can choose to whether to add new data or proceed with current data before printing out as a PDF file. Let's try to add some new data. The output of the PDF file will be in four different versions, which include overall master schedule, individual lecturer schedule, venue schedule, and by student year schedule. If it clash with other costs, it will be bolded to notify the scheduler team. For manual scheduling page, the function is almost similar with auto scheduling page. The only difference is that it allows scheduler team to import timetable data that previously exported from this system to make some new changes on the timetable data. That's all for my presentation. Thanks for watching until the end and goodbye.